Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this, the new Nike Street Fly, the full in-depth review after about 50 miles running, races, sessions, easy runs, we've done everything in this and now it's time to give you my full unbiased review. Sit back, relax, let's get this done. Well, it's great to have you back in guys and as always we will split this review into various different sections that you can move around. We start with some facts and figures, the likes, the dislikes, is this shoe going into my rotation and then have a little compare to the Vaporfly at the end. But I've got some exciting news to start out with because I've got a pair to give away here. A friend of mine bought these but they didn't fit so instead of him sending them back I thought we'd give them away to one lucky subscriber. So they're here in a UK size 10. If that's your size, great. If not, well you can sell them and get the right size for you. These are completely brand new, fresh in the box, never been really worn other than just tried on once. So if you want to grab a pair of these, enter the competition, you've got to do three things. You've got to like this video, subscribe if you don't already to the channel, and let me know in a comment down below, quite simply, what are you most looking forward to with your running this year? Maybe a race, a time trial, a new challenge that you've got coming up. Let me know down in the comments. And then after two weeks, we'll put the closing date up on the screen here. Me and Sarah will go onto a random generator and pick a comment completely at random, get in touch with you and send you out this pair of shoes, should you be that lucky person to win. Right, back to the review. So let's start with some facts and figures about the shoe. So this comes in at 185 pounds. As always, I bought this 100% with my money from the Nike website. It's a neutral shoe. The stack height at the back, 32 millimeters, 26 at the front, six mil drop there. Just that nice little sweet spot to get your feet turning over, get you up on your forefoot really nicely. This is very much a road shoe. Technically, you can't race on the track in this shoe because the stack height is too much. It's technically illegal, but on the road, absolutely fine. And there's no carbon plate in this shoe, as you can see. <laughs> very bendy, but there is what's called a Perbex shank in the middle of it just to help with that transition and help with that snappy ride. I ordered this shoe in my regular UK size 12, which was okay, but I think if I was gonna order another pair, I'd go half a size down, 11 and a half. The first one is the look and feel of the shoe. It is so nice and it feels so light because it is so light, coming in at around about 210 grams here in my size. That is very, very light, about 30 grams lighter than a Vaporfly, and yet you really feel that when it's on your foot and when you start running as well. There's a lovely super soft sort of padding on the tongue here, which is a semi-gusseted tongue, and really good ankle um, Achilles protection here, really nice soft pads at the back. You put it on, you feel inspired, and it, yeah, you just want to get out and run fast in it. It's a really confidence-inspiring shoe. The second point is comfort, kind of related to the first point there, but yeah, just the lockdown you can get with a shoe. I really love how it's slightly offset there with the laces, and that fit you can get straight away. You know, I didn't, I didn't have to do many adjustments or anything like that. Just felt great out the box. And also comfort at all speeds. As a lot of people know with things like this, they're great going fast, but for me, running slow in a shoe like a Vaporfly isn't great. But in this, easy pace, interval pace, tempo pace, full out 5K race pace, whatever pace it is, they felt good, they felt comfortable and just had no issues, no hot spots, no blisters or anything like that. The width at the front, really nice. Lots of room at the front of the shoe here and also through the midfoot as well. With things like the Vaporfly, they can get a little bit narrow there in the midfoot not an issue here. One feature I really like is the glued in insole. I suppose it's not great if you're someone that has orthotics and things like that, but if you don't and you just like the regular insoles, it's all glued in, it won't slip around at all, just adds to that extra comfort because I have had issues with some shoes, not the Nike shoes, where the insoles do slip out. And the third point here is the stable ride that I felt with these. It's been really nice when you've got a, if you're on a sort of a twisty course, a lot of people doing park runs and things like that. I felt super planted, no grip issues there at all. It gets your cadence up nicely. It's just an absolute joy to run in, super comfortable. And that brings me on to people who said, could I run a marathon or a half marathon in this shoe? I think I'd happily take this up to a half marathon. At a full marathon distance, you're gonna want a little bit more protection for your legs later on in the race. 
but no reason why you can't take it up if you feel your legs and everything is strong enough to be able to handle it. Moving on to the negatives, and the first one I think is for the vast majority of runners, me included, it's just not the fastest shoe you can put on for those five and 10 Ks and all race distances really. Yes, it's lovely to run in, it feels good, but in my all out 5K elite race I did in the last video, you can go and check that out. We'll link to that up here. I just felt after that, when I really needed it in that fourth and fifth K, it just wasn't doing as much as something like the Vaporfly would. Just the lack of the carbon plate in there, the lack of the stiffness, I was having to put in all that work. Um, and yeah, I really feel I could have run a little bit faster. How much faster? I don't know. But I've just got that overall impression after everything I've done, all the reps and the races, it's just not quite as fast. And also in that race, there was about 250 of the country's best 5K runners in that race. I didn't see a single pair. And there was a lot of people that had the shoe and chatting to some people beforehand, but everyone was going for either the Vaporflies or the new app Takumi Sense, which I've really enjoyed running so far. That was the kind of the two shoes I saw on the start line. And then there was me in this. I just have this overall feeling now that when it matters, when you need that pace in your goal race, this is not the shoe to go for. It's going to be the Vaporfly. But overall, it's been a great shoe to run in and I've really enjoyed it. Really good for sessions and things where it doesn't matter quite as much. When you just want to pick up the pace for some like easy, steady, easy and things like that. Really good shoe. So all importantly, is this going to rotation? The most hype shoe for so long. Well, yes, it will go into my rotation. I'm going to be doing some more sessions in it. And I think if I'm going down for a park run, just fancy something like that, I'll definitely put this on my feet. But if I'm there in an all out elite 5K race, I'm going to be picking up the Vaporfly, no doubt about that. There are new colors dropping very soon. This is the prototype way, which has some odd things like the paint doesn't quite match up. This number also on the side, there's lots of rumors about what this number means and anything about that. Apparently, there's somebody that said that's the, that's the amount of Ks that the leading person did testing this shoe. Anyway, if you know, let me know down in the comments. It'd be great to see. So that's it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on the Nike Street Fly. Are you going to be putting it into your rotation? That's what I want to know. And also, enter the competition. We're going to be giving away this brand new pair. We're going to ship this off to some lucky person around the world very soon. They're going to be getting this, whoa, this brand new pair of shoes. See, haven't done a single step in those. Can't wait to see those on some lucky subscribers' feet. So subscribe, like the video, and let us know down in the comments what is your biggest goal of the year. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for following along. To all the Patreon legends, the supporters here on YouTube, check out the new merch, the Rest Day sweater. We've got some cool tees, and of course, the best running hats in the world. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Lots of love, and we will see you in the next one.